This is Andy Perrault for Boxing Social in association with Betfred and I'm delighted to be joined by the IBF World Super Middleweight Champion Caleb Plant. Caleb, first and foremost, how are you? Doing well. Appreciate you. Appreciate you guys coming out today. Uh, Caleb, we appreciate you giving up some time, obviously so close to the fight as well. The first question, a bit of a boring one, but how has camp gone so far? How are you feeling ahead of November 6th? Camp's been going good. Everything's been on point. Um, weight is good. I mean, everything's uh, coming together, so I'm looking forward to the second half of camp. Biggest fight of your career, which if you're successful in can lead on to even more big fights and even more opportunities. What would it mean for you to become undisputed champion on November 6th? Um, it would mean everything. You know, I think uh, that's the highest pinnacle of this sport. You know, not just to become a world champion, but to unify all the belts and become undisputed. Um, you know, if you, if you really take this sport serious, then that's your goal. And that's been my goal for a long time. And um, I got a big opportunity in front of me, and I'm just looking to go in there and, you know, let the bell ring and um, seize that moment. People see Canelo as the pound for pound star in boxing, and they see him as the favorite heading into this fight. But do you think people are overlooking you? And do, uh, one thing as well with Canelo, who says you're not on his level, do you feel disrespected when he says that? I mean, those are just words. He can say whatever he wants, you know. But um, come November 6th, he's going to find out. He's going to find out for himself. We've seen, you know, usually in the build-up to a fight, you're very calm, you're very calculated and just relaxed about the, the build-up and going into something. This time round, obviously, we saw the, the face-off and what happened there. Do you feel that's the way to kind of get underneath Canelo's skin and to kind of disrupt? I was calm and cool, I was calm and cool, right? You know, he's the one who, right, he was acting out of character, huh? Not me, so. Um, but, you know, if you put your hands on me, then that's a green light, so, you know, I responded, but he's the one who reacted. And um, he lost his cool. I'm not sure why. Like I said before, I think he's got someone in front of him who knows that he knows that they're not just here to pick up a check or hand over the belt, and he don't like that. So, you know, I think he lost his cool. And then he got up there, he tried to get a speech off. He couldn't even talk. He couldn't even get his words out. So, you know, he's the one acting out of character. What did you take away from that little altercation? just that I'm under his skin somehow, that he don't like me, and uh, it's, that somehow his feathers are ruffled, so. Do you think that's going to be key heading into this fight? Because obviously, as you said, you feel like you're underneath his skin. That's going to be playing on his mind in the build-up and might distract him from, you know, when, when the pair of you are in the ring, he might stray away from his own game plan? Mm, I'm not sure, you know, that's a question for him. He, he'd be able to answer that, not me, but um, he, he's in for a treat. I'm telling you, November 6th, you guys are gonna find out. Caleb, is this the most motivated you felt in a camp, the most determined you felt so far in your career? Um, I mean, it's up there, but I, I felt motivated and determined for all my fights. You know, you don't you don't become a world champion by getting a belt and then acting like a world champion. You got to carry yourself, you know, walk, talk, train like a champion before you get a belt. That's how you become world champion. So um, I'm motivated and dedicated, and I have been to my craft since I started. But um, this is a big moment, and um, I'm just excited to get in there and let that bell ring. I know you'd have seen all of his fights at 168, but for yourself, having watched them as well, how do you feel will be the best way, best way to try and approach this fight for yourself to, to be successful? Um, the key to be, being successful is just being myself. I got all the tools and all the skills necessary to get my hand raised in that fight. And um, if I go in there and be anybody but myself, then, you know, who knows? But if I go in there and I be myself and be Caleb Plant, you know, there's nobody, there's nobody at 168 pounds who can beat me. Just a, couple, just a couple more for me because I know there's people waiting to speak to you. Firstly, obviously, we've got the Wilder Fury trilogy on Saturday night. Caleb, what's your take on that fight? It's a big fight. Um, a lot of stake, a lot on the line. And um, both of them are ready to prove that, that they're the ones who's right. So, you know, when the bell rings, we're going to find out for sure. So, I don't know. And then final one, a message to Canelo Alvarez ahead of November 6th. Anything you'd like to say, take it away. You're going to find out for sure. Like I said, I told you when we were staring off at each other, you're going to find out here real soon. And November 6th, you're going to really find out. Caleb, thank you. Good luck with the rest of your preparations. Appreciate it. Thank you, Caleb.